Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Grand Turismo Sport. Uh, making our way through the one make races. Already uh, only have to do France and Italy. Um, and we arrived at the 206 Cup in fr uh, the France car brands. And I read about this one. Apparently it's a very tough one. But let's see. Um, the same was true for the uh, Opel Speedster Cup in the German races. And that time I accidentally over tuned the car a bit, taking away. It was indeed a very hard race. You could not win it without tuning the car, but it's all about a balanced tune. So initially I started out with a big turbo and it really became too easy. So then I dialed the tune down. Um, I want to do the same uh, with this race. I will only tune when it's really necessary. And if I tune, I will do it as minimalistic as possible because it just feels otherwise like cheesing. Just slapping on a big turbo and winning blindly. That's not the way I would like to go through the campaign. But yeah, let's first figure out how hard it is. We bought the car already in the ending of the previous episode. 206 RC. FF layout, I'm pretty sure. Front engine, front drive. At least it's not a championship. So if we screw up, we can just start over the race. Yeah, it's a 200 point race. That's not a good sign. That means probably the other ones are tuned. All right, here we go. We do have quite long races. I think this may be four laps or something. We have now almost seven seconds gap to the leader. So let's see if we can at least close that a bit. Holy shit. Doesn't really appear to be the case. They appear to be running away. Of course, I don't know the car track combination that well yet. Where are the braking points? Yeah, it's now already 10 seconds. It's not really looking great. This is not going to work. So let's at least buy some racing tires. Maybe a bit of weight reduction. Let's really uh, start small. Racing soft. Maybe a bit of weight reduction. Do you need to, is this cumulative? Do you first need to do the first one before you do the second one? I don't think so, actually. 
tuning stage three. It's quite a lot. Right, so this is seven horsepower only. And this is five horsepower. It's all very marginal. This is quite a lot more. Let's do this one. And then maybe also this one. And a chip. And then also important, I would say, is somehow it's not in the tune shop, but it's in GT Auto getting a spoiler to increase front and rear downforce. And let's see. If that is sufficient, it's a pretty mild tune, I would say. Increase the downforce. Or a bit more mid corner grip, etc. Alright, I think we will still be way too slow. But let's start with this setup. Ah, it's only 190 points now. Alright, here we go. No more kidding around. Holy shit, this car, I'm not sure what happened over there, but it's super twitchy if you step on the brakes while cornering. It moves all over the place. All right, here we go. with these cars we're keeping up quite well but of course the question is will we be able to keep up with the first place car but so far it seems to go pretty well Yes, only a mild tune is enough to be competitive. Although maybe it uh, depends a bit what you consider a mild tune. What did we do? We did a race chip. We did stage one engine tuning, more downforce with the spoiler, and of course the racing tires, which is the big equalizer, I would say. I 
maybe in the next race I will actually detune the car a bit. So I would like to keep it at 200 points. We are now at 190 A-spec points. Uh, we also did some weight reduction of course but yeah only two stages or two levels i find that quite mild but still it feels like cheesing your way through a race like this this has nothing to do with race quality it has everything to do with just making the car quicker barrier And these tires really wear out quickly. They're already in the yellow after a couple of laps. Last lap. I do think this track is quite heavy on the tires with all the numerous corners wheel is already getting into the orange zone Here we go. Right, um, let's see if we can detune the car a little bit to make it a little bit more level playing field. Five laps in Tsukuba.
All right, so weight reduction we keep, bracing tires we keep, spoiler with dump force we keep. So basically what we can remove are the engine mods. Uh, and then we basically go from 216 to 182 so probably this will make it much harder but let's just see we really had like in Paris a 10 second lead so maybe with around what is it 30 40 horsepower less we will still be able to win I don't know Here we go. Uh, they do appear to be driving away, but hopefully our grip levels will help. quicker especially that first place car We are still under four seconds behind. So it's not crazy far behind. It's managed to find a couple of tents. Super annoying being held up. But it's five laps, so we still have a little bit. Ah, fuck me, I'm not really gaining that much. Although we are getting closer. But still, on the straights, they really get away. 2.7. Two laps to go, but the left front tire slowly but surely wearing out. Probably shouldn't have lift over there. Uh, 
this is the problem. They're just getting away. Check it out. Right, last lap, two seconds behind. I wanted to say nice, he's spinning out, but so did I. Fuck me. I wanted to do a bit of a do or die, but it didn't work out. Right, they are really much quicker on the straights. I can get to them in the corner sections but so yeah i do think maybe if i can get in front quicker let's try it one more time and of course i can do the engine tuning or maybe only the um the chip that is only like eight horsepower or more but maybe that is just what we need but it would also be very nice if we can just win it without engine mods let's try it one more time i mean we did get from a four seconds gap to like a two second gap Alright, here we go, no more kidding around. Alright, first corner didn't really feel that fast. God damn it. So annoying. Getting held up by these idiots. So annoying. I already should have passed this car now. Because he's holding me up. Sorry. Nine. Too much braking here. Fuck me. And again, being held up. It's so fucking annoying. If you know you have more action speeds, but there is no way to go. But against the car in front. Alright, what's this? Second lap or third? I think third, right? So we're not looking that good. First place car. Way ahead. Right, this was only the second lap. Three second gap. 2 seconds
Fuck it. They're gone on the straights. So annoying. Totally screwed up that corner. So we were way below two seconds. Probably even below one second. And now it's two and a half seconds because I screwed it up. And because they are so much faster on the straights. So basically in the twisty sections I can keep up. But then we get to the straights and they just get away. Point six. The only thing I can hope for is the lead car going wide or something. One point four. Nope. It's not gonna work out unless I bump him off over here. Fuck me. We were close, so I do think it's possible. If I take him in the final lap. In the chicane over there, or in the hairpin over there. So, yeah, what to do? I will try one more time. very close to him. If I just can avoid being held up by cars in front and instead swerve around them, keeping my momentum, that could be enough to get to the first place car. Like so. That was very nice. have better used the width of the track there.
1.8 Screwed up that corner Third lap, 1.7 up my tires there all right but at least we are already in the third lap need that hairpin very close towards him and now the question is he's getting away again so it's It's a little bit get the mouse. I'm getting close to him near that hairpin, but yeah, he just drives away on the straight. Nice, right, was not the cleanest, but whatever. Quicker than I expected. Getting into first. We still have to finish the race, of course. Totally screwing up this corner. Well, I really didn't do that before. Now when I'm in the lead, suddenly I'm starting making new mistakes. My left front tire is orange already. Nice. All right, so it is possible to win this race without engine upgrades. At least this one. But now we still have a couple of other tracks to do and it could very well be if there are tracks with long straights that it's not possible to win with the current setup. If they just... Yeah, driving park should be possible. Suzuka will be very hard with the straights. But it's the East course, so that could work. It's the um, shorter version and Côte d'Azur could also work. So let's just keep it up and try to win this in this lightly modified 206. So we have racing tires, we have stage two weight reduction, uh, and we have a spoiler to increase the uh, downforce. I think that's basically all the mods that we have. And this track, it doesn't have a lot of straights. It's very twisty, so hopefully our tires will help out here.
Oh, there he goes, there he went. Here we go. I will take it a little bit easy on the tires as well. We have eight laps to go, or six to go, eight in total. As long as I can stay in first, I don't necessarily need to drive the fastest lap of the race. Prefer to keep the tires alive. Although right front tire already in the yellow emulator where the renderer is also slowing down a bit weird frame rate variations Four laps to go. Here in that middle section, it really slows down. Ah, the competition is actually pitting. That was not my strategy. Although my tire really already seems pretty wasted. Let's just see. We still have three good tires. But of course, the tire that's taking the brunt of the abuse is the right front tire. Which is basically a counter clockwise circuits and a front wheel drive car will put most stress on the right front side of the car I would say holy shit holy shit that car just smashed into the pit wall okay two more laps to go and tire is in the reds. I'm not sure. I know from other cars sometimes if you it's really like an on-off button. If your tire really is worn out, yeah, it really doesn't have any grip anymore, it's constant wheel spin, etc. But yeah, I'm not sure how that works if only one of the tires is worn out. We still have the other front tire and if I'm not mistaken, this could be the last lap. We still have seven seconds left. 
Leads. Although now it really is getting hairy. Man. Could be. I don't see him yet. But he, if he is still on track, number two will be gaining very quickly. Because I can hardly steer the car anymore. And there we go. I did see him in the rear view mirror. But um, that worked out. So that is really a torturous track for uh, tire wear. Because it was not that long of a race, but they were totally gone, the tires. All right, another one done without engine upgrade needing, needing to upgrade the engine. Suzuka short circuits, five laps. Yeah, this will again be tricky on the tires, I think. There are less corners, but still there are quite some hard braking zones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. about the S section. just drive away on the straight here. Alright, only one lap and we already have like from blue to fully green tires. Alright, here we go. Let's get him. Sliding quite a lot, quite some tire squeal, which I assume equals tire wear. Trying to be as gentle as possible on the tires, but easier said than done. Three more laps to go. Left four tire is itching or etching towards yellow. But it seems all much better than in the previous race. given that we do not need to drive as much anymore. 
think two more laps after this one. Alright, but now it's itching towards orange. No, it will be... Ah, no, this is the last lap already. Alright, so that's good. Otherwise I would have said it will be a tricky final lap, but... If we are already on the final lap, I really don't see many problems. Or much of a problem with the tires. Yes, it's quite worn. Left front, front, um, front left. But we're almost home. Holy shit! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, don't get over. Zealous, and that was, uh, yeah, the tire wear actually, I went white and then on the grass and I spin around and the thing is, once I spin around, it's mostly always game over for me because, oh, pressed the wrong button, because my steering wheel is not self-centering. So if you spin around, the wheel spins also around uh, violently and then you're not sure whether it's... The wheel is upside down and the gear shift pedals, they are also um, rotating together with the wheel. So then it really takes a couple of seconds to figure out what directions the wheels are pointed, whether I have to turn the wheel one uh, or yeah, some rotations to get it all straightened out. And also, if I have to get in reverse, the reverse button is like a minuscule button out of 20 buttons on the wheel. God damn it, should have get past this car. Fuck this fucking car, man. Um, anywho, all taking that together, it is just once I spin out, it really can take a lot of time to get the car back on track. And that was time I didn't have here. Also really weird, uh, it's maybe that the rear tires are still cold, but it's snap oversteer. Don't really get that. All right, here we go. Deja vu. Holy shit, I was still in fourth gear on the straight. Not sure why I didn't go to fifth. in this car you can really more than in others probably because the speed is just a lot lower compared to real race cars but you can really quite nicely flow through the S's often in faster cars I either brake too much or you go wide it's much more tricky to get the flow through the S's This car.
actually quite easy to more or less efficiently slide through them coming up I think yes all right left front tire in the orange so I'm taking it a little bit more careful don't want to accidentally spin off the track again left hand corners are no problem it's all about the right hand corners now which are tricky with the left front tire pretty much shredded so this is where I need to watch out take it easy here we go bring it home very nice one race to go, I think. What was the last one? I forgot. I think it was Deep Forest. It would be nice if it would not be Deep Forest Reverse, but Deep Forest, the normal direction. I really find... Ah, it's Côte d'Azur it was. But Deep Forest, I find it a little bit under... Um, I wouldn't say appreciated, but it just doesn't pop up that often as others. But maybe, yeah, I have the same actually for Trial Mountain and stuff. Somehow I was, maybe it will be in the extreme events and in the um, endurance races, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing those tracks less than I would have uh, maybe expected. All right, here we go. Not sure how many laps it is. I assume maybe three. Anyways, Deep Forest, we did drive it quite recently, but it was, I think, in the reverse direction. I really would like to drive it in the normal direction. Right, they are much quicker up the hill here. God damn it. They're really race racing away. Also pretty oh sorry. Quintessential French in little fast hatchbacks. Fuck me. Driving, racing. Fuck me. Past the, um, along the Côte d'Azur. And I'm not racing that well. First place car is way in front. Oh. I cannot, I cannot handle that hitting the, these um, inside corners, curbings, barriers. It's so fucking annoying. Go. 
almost hits the inside corner there. Like the first inside corner again. Such an idiot. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking car on the inside there. Fucking annoying. really all about not hitting, being as quick and as sharp. Oh, 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 oh my god, this is so frustrating. AI was literally bumping me into the barrier. Anyways, it's all about keeping speed and not hitting these fucking barriers, man. Fuck these barriers. Fuck this shit. Again, very tricky race to win this one. Check out, I already should have been in second place, I'm pretty sure. This will hardly be winnable. He bumped me as well, so screw that mother sucker. Alright, nice. Nice catch up to first place. Very nice. Tires are still pretty okay. One lap and a half to go. Inside the barrier, quite annoying. Alright, not that easy to overtake here, sucker. Good luck with that. Thanks for the push. God damn it man, hitting these barriers. Nobody to blame but myself, but fucking hell, how annoying is that? It's not like you lose all your speed, but it's just enough to be annoying. Right, looks good, they're way back somehow. Tires are also looking quite strong. Let's 
Somehow the car really has no grip through that corner. But whatever. And that was the championship. To be honest, it was much easier. It was still challenging, but much easier than I expected. I really read forum posts like, oh, the 206 Cup, it's uh, impossible. It's not at all impossible. We only have level two weight reduction, a spoiler for more downforce, and racing soft tires. That is basically enough to win it. I do like that color blue actually. It's really like that Miami blue. Atlet yeah, maybe blue, I think it is, for Peugeot colors. I have a 205 GTI in the same color. Again, incredibly cool shots. PS2 game still looking amazing. Amazing. Also the backgrounds, this whole track. Absolutely amazing. Alright, one more one make event done. Hopefully we get a cool reward car. Come on! Ah, we already have this one. Alright, let's see what else France has to offer. We did Citroën, we did Peugeot, Alpine. Ah, they also have one make races. The A110 or the A310. Let's see if we have that one. A110 you cannot buy, neither can you do the A310. This one is 123 horsepower, this is 138. Weird, this one looks much more modern. Weird that it has less power than this one. And also that they are in the same year. This one looks like a newer generation, I don't understand. Maybe this is the last year of this generation and this is the first year of the next generation, I don't know. I even like this styling as well. Looks a little bit too much like an Espada, which I find a really weird design, a Lamborghini Espada. It's between a coupe and like a station wagon. I really don't understand that design. 
and uh, this one has it as well but this is more compact uh, it's still a bit weird to be quite honest I do like this design better this is simply a coupe this really is almost bordering on a station wagon like a family wagon with a huge trunk why would you need a huge trunk if you are driving like a a sporty car I assume this car also has the engine at the rear right I see some uh, beneath the rear window besides there are some air intakes let's see quickly looking it up A310 engine rear Alright, then we up obviously go to a Boeing A310, but that's not what we want. We want a Renault Alpine. From 1971 to 1984. Rear, rear layout, yeah, so engine in the rear. All right, so let's check out the, so that was, what did it say? Nineteen seventy-one. And let's see, I'm pretty sure that 110 was way in the 60s already sixty-three to seventy-seven yeah so there was six years of both models being produced I find it a bit weird because the A310 does look like a successor Yeah, predecessor A110, successor Alpine GTA. The successor was the Alpine A310, initially powered by tuned Gordini four cylinder engine, still rear mounted. Only 125 horsepower. Way too little. How heavy was it? Being larger, heavier and no more powerful than its predecessor the A310 was generally considered underpowered. Exactly. V6 was introduced in 76 only 104 to 50 horsepower all right I really cannot understand it so little so few horsepower Anyways, I'm trying to find the weight of the car. And again, these articles, they're so messy, these wiki articles. Sometimes they're very good, but often they're so incomplete. Why would you list a car's dimensions, its engines, etc., but not its weight? I mean, what are you thinking at that point? I don't understand. All right, 930 kilograms, this one, but I don't really trust uh, 750. Uh, it could be, it's indeed heavier than the A110, but I don't really trust the uh, specifications of the game itself, Grand Turismo, because I've already seen quite a lot of inaccuracies. 
and also inconsistencies that one menu says uh, horsepower X and the uh, next page for the same car says horsepower Y. Uh, so it, it, it's inconsistent with its um, car specifications in the game itself. You can just really make out like, okay, only one of the two can be true, not both at the same time. So it's a bit um, fake, but anyways, um, I think I do have both of these Renaults already, or at least one I have. No, I do not. What the hell? It almost feels like... That's a bummer. Or I sold the car, but I cannot imagine selling a car like that. Maybe I did. But I would have kept the Renault A110, I would say. That's such a cool car. Also the A310, I'm pretty sure that I had that one. That one I can imagine having sold. A310 GT4. George five really easy <coughs> all right so we have to drive another event to get one of the cars fuck me man ah no wait maybe it's under lp no it's not yes it is here we have at least one but then i'm really like where is the a 110. I should have had that. I cannot imagine. Discarding that car. Maybe I did. get it yet maybe I drove it in a license test or something I do think we already drove it but we have to do the Alpine Cup and then we win the A110 but we already have the A310 so that's the car that we will be using in the Renault Alpine, Alpine Cup in the next episodes let's save the game just to be sure Guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you in the next. And for the meantime, don't forget always to keep on gaming. Later.